morning world. It's about 10 to 9. Not feeling my best because I stayed up really late last night researching places to live in Portugal, residence permits and stuff that we might need to do. All that kind of boring stuff that expat life entails. <laughs> so, a little bit tired, but out in the morning sun. How are you feeling? Hot. <laughs> it's very hot. Already. Yeah. Anyway, we're out for Eden's walk because it's only going to get hotter. She doesn't seem to be too concerned. Like I mentioned a few days ago, I don't want to do the move of countries in the same way that we did last time. I want to have a little bit more structure to our plan. So we are basing our search and our research on things that we know to be true of expat life out here. And I'm not sure if it will apply. For example, access to electronic stores, access to a highway, hospitals and supermarkets, and possibly an international store where we could get imported items. All the things that... Hmm? Vets. Vets, yeah, <laughs> definitely. All the things that when we first moved to Thailand we didn't think about because we couldn't. It was too much to take in. Now we know what we like about living abroad and what we feel comfortable with. So it makes sense to try and base our new home near to some of those things at least. And we know what we've needed since we've been living here. Like we've needed a vet quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's important to yeah. be close to one of those, not have to drive for an hour to get somewhere. Yeah. We're keen to learn as much of the language as possible. Back when we were in the UK, we were learning French using this. Is it a course? Would you say it's a course? It was called yeah. Earworms. It was basically learning language through music. And it was quite effective because in the same way that you would remember a song that you like and the lyrics of it, the language was done in the same way. A conversation between two people and themed with some tunes. And it helped it to stick in the mind. It was so, good, but we still don't speak French. No, we don't speak French, but you remember the first remember two or three tracks. CD. Yeah, and all the stuff about ordering coffee in a coffee yeah. shop was quite easy to remember even now. It's a good starting point, like to start you off with words and things like that. But, mm. yeah. yeah, but for general practical usage, you would need to go to the advanced levels, but somewhere to begin with, I think we have to look into it. We're back from Eden's morning walk and I've decided to go for a morning swim before breakfast. Looks quite inviting out there. I've been here for quite a few months now and I still have not tried this jacuzzi. It's not heated but the water is quite warm at the moment and the jets are working now so I might give it a go. What do you think? i get my trunks on, I'm gonna jump in there, see what it feels like. <laughs> Sasha's back in now. I just went to turn on the switch and <laughs> Sasha sprung out like a spring. <laughs> she was worried about what would happen when the switch went on. All joking aside though, we have read many stories about Thai swimming pools and the electrics that run them. And a few people in the past have been killed because of poor electrical work in swimming pools out here, so that's the reason why she jumps out. She thought it might be a bit ropey. Wise move, to be honest. We're in the hot tub. My dad wanted to use this when he was here, but it wasn't running. So I'm making him jealous right now, I'm sure. <laughs> and it's nice and warm too. Swimming and jacuzzi fun is done. I've just made our breakfast. Jay's got his usual big bowl of oats and I've got two Weetabix, banana, almonds and chia seeds. And two nice big glasses of cold water.
ventured outside the house today and we are heading to a coffee shop that Jay thinks he might have found on Google which is near to us. Haven't been here before so not sure where we're going to end up but I brought my notebooks with me and we're going to do some planning and chatting about what's next and upcoming videos and that kind of thing. We are going to give up on our coffee shop search because we've been driving around the roads that we thought it was in but it's not here, we can't find it so never mind. The place we were looking for was called the living room but we couldn't find it but we did find this move on which looks rather nice lots of nice houses in here sometimes it's nice just to have a little drive around roads that we haven't been down before and discover something we didn't find the coffee shop but we did find another local type restaurant that we might try out in the future we have ended up at the Yu Yen burger restaurant on the beach. I think we're just going to have a drink now though, we're not actually going to have lunch here but we still wanted to have our drink and our diary catch up. Business meeting. <laughs> Business meeting. <laughs> so we are here. So this is Grace's American Burgers Mark II. We went to the other Grace's Burgers in town but this one is much nicer by the sea. You could actually play around on the garden ornaments, sit on the swing. I've seen quite a few people over there taking their pictures and just enjoying being out in the garden. Quite a pretty setting. We've come here and ordered a couple of coffees each. Just sitting down listening to the sound of the bell. They had good quality Navazza coffee on the menu so hopefully it will taste good. We are the only Western customers here. This is very popular with Thai people, which is a bit surprising for an American restaurant, but nice. Nice little setting by the beach. We weren't actually planning on getting coffees when we came here. We wanted a cold drink. When we saw the menu and we saw that there was Lavazza on there, and most of the shakes looked like American milkshakes, we weren't really feeling that. So coffee it is, I can't really complain about that. It's my first coffee today, but it's a good one. I was actually going to get a tea rather than coffee, but it's actually the same price, 80 baht for a tea. So I thought that was a bit much for a tea bag, so I got a cappuccino instead. <laughs> We've actually come here to have a little business meeting. Sometimes we do this, we go out and we sit down with a notepad and we write down all the things that need doing, all the things that need organising. It is the only way we can really structure our world. <laughs> Sasha's just got milk all over isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Sasha actually received a little gift in the post from a company so we're going to be working on the video for that but more on that tomorrow. Today we are just going to plan it out. We've finished up with our talking. I feel quite productive. <laughs> now we're going to head back and get food because I'm hungry. Well, one thing is for certain, I much prefer this location for Yu Yen than the other place. The other place didn't feel as nice, this one's got a much nicer feel to it. And bonus, it's much closer to us too. Yes. Eden! Eden's fully asleep. We're home. Eden is fully asleep and dreaming, so we're going to leave her be in the bedroom and I'm going to make some lunch. Very simple. So she's just finishing up her eggs. Little monsters come to check for foods again. It looks like we can buy volume one of the MP3 for £10. When we originally bought the French one, it came on a CD and it had maybe eight or nine tracks. So I don't know if volume one has all these tracks in it, but I'm definitely like the way they teach the language in this way. We did actually look up Thai when we yeah. first came here, isn't it? They, they don't do a Thai version. They don't do a Thai version. I don't know why, because they do Russian and Japanese and all kinds of languages, but they just don't do Thai. All right, we're going to eat our lunch and we are going to watch a episode of this particular vlog. 
we are trying to catch up on the Michelax. They create a family video diary, quite cinematic, once every Sunday, and they're quite enjoyable to watch. Really well filmed. One person asked us once, what vlogs do we watch? This is one of our favorite ones, so the Michelax, there you go. You can check it out if you want, see if you like that. for Eden's evening walk. Just spoke to Adam, my neighbor, who was selling his house and it has sold. So they're extremely relieved that they've got that out of the way now because they're planning on moving back to England too. So we're in a similar situation at the moment, sorting things out and trying to get things done, but they've got a lot less time than we have. Just in one month's time, they're gonna have to pack up their life here that they've been living for six years, pack up everything they've got, send it back to the UK and then begin a new life again. So we're sharing a lot of the same emotions at the moment. With that said, we've been doing a little bit of Portugal research again, and we've bought the earworms. We want to be able to speak as much of the language as possible. We always say this when we move to a country, and we are serious about doing it. I feel like I want to know the basics, like I yeah. did with Thailand, but like to begin with, and then once we're there, we'll hopefully pick up a lot more. Yeah, I don't think that everybody quite understands like how important the whole language thing was to us in the very beginning. Some people think that we don't speak any Thai whatsoever, but we did actually make quite a decent effort to learn quite a bit of the like basics that we could get by. And even though you don't hear us speaking Thai in the vlogs, there have been many times when I've had to <laughs> sit down and really struggle to communicate things to get our car fixed and to go to local markets so yeah when we first arrived and especially when we were living in Chiang Rai and before we were vlogging we would go to the local market the fruit and veg market and go in there and only speak Thai so we'd buy all our vegetables and pay and sort out money and all that kind of thing and how much you wanted all in Thai but obviously we weren't vlogging then so he didn't get to see any of that but we did do that and things like the laundry we'd take our laundry to a very local lady and you know ask for the laundry to be done and when to pick it up and that kind of thing we could do so yeah that's probably another thing that i'd like to mention as well sometimes people say oh, you guys live a really lonely life and we don't ever see any of your friends and we didn't think that you spoke to anybody but there's a very good reason for that and that is most people don't actually like being filmed. So it's very awkward for me to walk into a place where I very rarely go and shove a camera in their face without properly explaining what's going on. So a lot of the time you will just see us interacting with people, sometimes from far away, sometimes just services or sometimes looking a little bit incognito because people don't actually like it. We can film our friends and some of our family back at home with no problems because they obviously know what we're doing they've known from the beginning and you know that kind of thing but when you meet someone for the first time you're not going to shove a camera in their face or it's awkward and it comes across that on film so we don't do it like that even with friends and family sometimes people have said oh i wish Gillian would speak more or i wish my dad would speak more but they do speak quite a lot <laughs> they're not as shy as they appear but they don't know how to vlog so it's not like i can just hand the camera over to Gillian and say oh jill do a little bit of vlogging she will <laughs> respond to how we film her and same with my dad so during our latest trip when he came to stay with us near the end i actually had to tell him to say a little bit more when i pointed the camera at him and he found it difficult because Trust me, pick up a camera and try and talk into it and in you'll realise, in public, <laughs> and you'll realise what it's like. And that is a lot of the reasons why sometimes we appear to be just on our own all the time, <laughs> not communicating because of a lot of those reasons plus more. Yeah, I mean we do spend a lot of our time together, but when we do go out, we're, we might not take the camera because we don't want to film it because we know the people that we're with won't like it. So that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Those weirdos that always come with a camera. Things do happen off screen. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed.
we have also been continuing the search for a new home and we have found a really nice looking place about 30 minutes from Lisbon. We thought that it would be very difficult to find properties near to Lisbon that would be affordable, but this particular property is less than what we're paying now. Just 375 euros a month. It's got mountain views, but it's completely unfurnished. However, I've been speaking to some people from Portugal and they tell me they have Ikea. <laughs> they have an Ikea. Ikea saves the day. Yeah. So what we're thinking is just take the unfurnished place go to Ikea, if we need to sell the stuff we can sell it but it won't be on our monthly expenses. No. So yeah, Ikea in Portugal. Sent a few emails to an agent and just gonna see what happens from there. Don't quite know exactly how it works there. We'll things, find out very soon. Things are moving forward quite nicely. Yep. Quite pleased how today has turned out. <laughs> Me too. Still quite cool in here. A little bit of the air conditioning remains. Bloody hell, mum broke my cane. Oh, I cannot believe you broke my cane, mum. Right. Get it open with that fork. Look at this demand all the great. Mm, you demand all the great. Eden's diet has changed a bit recently. She ran out of sardines a few days ago and she seems to be responding well to this tuna in spring water. So Eden is now eating nice delicious tuna. And for us tonight is whole wheat pasta night. Yep, it is dinner time again. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. And tomorrow's video will be a little bit different because we're working with a company, which is something we've never done before. So stay tuned to find out what that's all about. If you like today, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!